Capturing videos of food being made right in front of us is something we all enjoy doing, right? One such video on Facebook went viral and clogged over 18 million views. This particular video captures the process of dosa preparation at a restaurant's open kitchen in Bengaluru. In the video, the cook is seen spraying water on hot tawa and then proceeds to use a broom for sweeping. Uh, no, not me. Uh, this was the netizen's reaction. Viewers expressed their displeasure and concerns with comments pouring in about the cooking methods and hygiene factors. There were even debates between hygiene maintenance and some taking a stand for the final product, the delicious dosas, which should be the primary focus. Are you guys also wondering why there is a broomstick being used for cooking in the first place? Here's why. Came across this before? It's called a basting brush. A basting brush is often used to apply sauce or marinade on meat, fish or poultry. It's also one of the significant culinary brushes used in baking. And most times it's made out of silicone and also of plastic. Bakers stick to silicone most of the time because, well, plastic melts. Now this so-called broomstick used by cooks at restaurants on hot towers is just the OG basting brush. And it has been used for that very purpose for ages in South Indian kitchens and is particularly made out of fibre. So, obviously, because it's a broom, there's definitely a lot of ick factor surrounding this. Yes, it is a broom or jhadu as North Indians know it. Yes, cooks use it at restaurants. So why can't people wrap their heads around it? Mostly due to hygiene concerns. Or is it some kind of cultural prejudice? But here's the thing. It's just like any other cooking instrument we use in our kitchens, say, for example, a ladle or a spatula or a flipper. In this case, a restaurant. This jhadu is made of coconut palm frond fiber. If that coconut broom is used in the kitchen, it is dedicatedly used for cooking purposes. And this cooking instrument has an added advantage of being made of natural fiber, which is heat resistant. But the cultural differences between North and South India has the internet divided. Usually in the North, jhadu is considered as something not good or inauspicious as it's mostly used for cleaning. Remember the whole BJP door-to-door -door campaign against Aam Aadmi Party when it came out with its party symbol, the broom? Goddess Lakshmi ensconced in BJP's lotus versus Aap which riding a broomstick. Whereas in the South, a lot plays out of practicality. Down South, usage trumps imagery. A long-handled brush with natural fibres that are heat-resistant and can reach maximum surface area? That's this coconut broom. Here's another instant. Did you know that most idlis at restaurants are poured into the moulds and covered with wet cloths so as to remove them easily? It's the same principle of practicality and of ease. So next time you notice something that takes a minute to adjust to, Take that minute and try to see the logic behind it. It's normal and most South Indian kitchens use it regularly, just the same as other utensils and kitchen instruments. This is Mandira, you're watching India Today So South.